case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The case of United States v. Hodges, which journeyed to the United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit in 1975, presented a challenging dialogue on legal identification procedures. The case hinged on the leading notion that in trials where identification calls the shots, the presiding judge must inform the jury precisely on how to evaluate identification evidence presented by witnesses. The decision underscored the paramount importance of such instruction, particularly when a defense team requests it to forestall potential injustice spurred by mistaken identification. The defendant, initially convicted for possession of a stolen check, challenged the legitimacy of inadequate identification procedures at his trial and subsequently appealed. He proposed a failure on the part of the trial court as no identification instruction was delivered to the jury. His appeal was bolstered by circumstances surrounding his case, a delay in identification, utilization of a show-up instead of a lineup, and the inability of two witnesses to identify him from a picture. Much to his chagrin, these arguments were countered by the appellee who insisted that the witnesses had sufficient opportunity to observe the accused and were unwavering in their identifications. In a turn of events, the appeals court upturned the district court's conviction. It maintained that the trial judge was duty-bound to acquit if there existed a ripple of doubt regarding the defendant's identification. The verdict emphasized that jury instructions, especially those around identification, are far from superfluous. Instead, they are an essential safety net to prevent injustice in situations where the identification hurdle is pivotal. Consequently, a fresh trial in alignment with the updated opinion was ordered. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.